when I was going to work on a Thursday night at Connections, a few guys came over to me and I think they thought that I was a genuine girl. When they got a closer look, obviously, they realised I was not. And they threw me down to the ground. They just refused to let me get up. They kept me there for so long and they just... were just saying horrible things and there was no... no, like, human compassion in that. That was, like... That's an attack on someone and that's... You genuinely are attacking someone for the way they are. I am Katja Kokov. I'm a 23-year-old drag queen from Perth. I'm Danny Tuzel. I work at Connections Nightclub as a drag queen. We've been through a lot together. We went through some very dark times. I don't necessarily feel wholly like a male or wholly like a female. To me, it just is kind of when you don't define yourself as a boy or a girl, you don't really see, you just, like, you don't look in the mirror and see a boy or you don't look in the mirror and see a girl, you just see someone. My family have always loved me, no matter what. But the support and the understanding didn't come as quick. Everyone knew what gay people were in my family, but they had never had to, had to deal with one, had to deal with all of, all of the things that come with it. The gay thing was fine, they got over that very quickly, and then it was the drag thing that I think played on their mind a little bit. Now they totally get it. I've shown, they've seen it, they're 100% on board with it, 100% supportive. And they just needed to see that the me that had been there forever was still, was still there. My family is extremely Christian. It was, it was difficult. I was always just like totally open to the fact that I might end up with a girl or I might end up with a boy or and all this sort of stuff. And I think it kind of freaked my mum out at first. It was more difficult with my dad. He didn't come into connections for like the first two years that I worked there. But he's getting there now. And they just had to realise that it wasn't a phase. I was technically born with the lady parts, unfortunately. And for, for a lot of people, they think you can't do this if you have certain bits or if you were born a certain way. Whether someone chooses to identify as male, female, androgynous, drag queen, in between, whatever you want to, alien. If you want to identify yourself as alien, so be it. Like, there will be people out there that wa won't understand. I don't think there has to be barriers and limits to your gender. You can be who you want to be. Now, when I was 15, we went to the doctors and he was like, you have to go pick up a wheelchair on the way home. You can't walk on your legs anymore. I can assure you, you have arthritis. Back then, it was kind of just like, OK, well, I'll just wait for death. Whereas now, it's like, I don't even think about it. Eventually, swelling started going down, the medication started working, and it was like, miracle. Please make some big guys for Hello, I didn't think I'd be able to have this kind of life. I'm wearing platform heels. I'm not gonna let it stop me. Drag flipped my opinion on life a lot. I put on a mask to show what's really underneath because when I've got the mask on, I feel safe. Drag is my, it's my enjoy free escape. I, I love my drag family so much. The family is who loves you and supports you. It might not be easy, but just keep on keeping on. Just keep doing you. You don't need to come up with an answer and know now. You don't need to know tomorrow. 
exactly who you are. Don't be afraid of difference because yeah. every person is different to you.